in reality, we, we score a penalty kick and we had two on goals. Correct. Right? So. <laughs> Part of me wants Portugal so we could just, you know, redemption from 2016. Listen, we don't care about Portugal. Bring on Ronaldo. Bring it and let's get it fired up. Ale, 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 let's go. Ale, ale, ale. This is Fan First Network. All right, so on Canada Day, France beat Belgium and move on to the quarterfinals. Tell me what you saw from this French side today. Uh, I wish I would have seen more, to be honest with you, right? Yeah. So in reality, we, we score a penalty kick. And we had two on goals, Correct. right? So, <laughs> so we had opportunities. Don't get me wrong. We had good opportunities, good chances. Why now we need to be clinical? Yes. Quarterfinals. We always said, you know, when you go to the, you know, elimination style, it's elimination or or you're you're going through. We're going through. Great, no problem. Now quarterfinals against either Portugal or Slovenia. Yes. I want Portugal, by the way. I just for revenge. Yeah, yeah, right? Same for Belgium. It was yeah. a revenge for them. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, no, I'm happy, but I want to see more, and I want us to be clinical. Oh, it was an amazing game. The ref was really hard. It was controlling a lot of the game, but, you know, we pushed through. We were on the offense. We played great defense. And, you know, Belgium played hard as well, but, you know, we dominated at the end, and we're excited that we scored, and we're on to the quarterfinal. Uh, we'll see who's going to win against Slovenia versus uh, Portugal. Yes. Um, you know, part of me wants Portugal so we could just, you know, redemption from 2016 I... and move on to the semifinal against the winner of Germany versus Spain, which is going to be a beautiful game as well. It was stressful, stressful day for the both of us. Uh, you know, back and forth in the first half, not really much action, but uh, overall, uh, France took it to them most of the match. What do you think? We got it done. That's all that matters at this point. We got it done. Um, I saw like a very tough game. Like it was close until the end. Like we all were like sweating and just I like, feel yes. like oh tense. Everyone was tense until like the goal, like the unique one. But like still, we just needed that. Another own goal. It doesn't matter how. It just matters if you get it done. Oh totally, totally. Like it was done. Like they tried for a second one that couldn't, but that's fine. Like I mean, at least they defend well. Who have you been most impressed with? Obviously, we've talked about Conte. And who do you think you need more from? going into this very difficult knockout round now? So the, the few players I want to highlight right now is probably the keeper, yes. Mike Mignon. Yes. Uh, um, I guess the defense, uh, specifically Saliba. I think he's, uh, he's a top player. Yeah. He's from Arsenal guy. Yeah. A good guy. season in Arsenal too. Exactly. Uh, and then the one I'm expecting a little bit more would be uh, either Griezmann or, uh, or Kylian Mbappe, just to be a little bit more clinical in that, in that moment. You know, N'Golo Kante has been so key in defense. I think our defense has been really tight. Um, our goalkeeper, Magnon, has been really, really great in saving us in many occasions. Um, I would love to see Mbappe and some of the offense come together. I think there's some key players that are on the bench that would work a lot better with the way Mbappe plays. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping Deschamps is going to bring in some different changes and so we could actually move into offense and score some more goals. I'll say, like, I mean, Mbappe still, like, he still has it, you know, like, he just play with the ball, just, like, play with the other guys. So for me, like, of course, he's still, like, up there. Uh, of course, Griezmann. Griezmann with, like, the great passes and everything. Rabiot. Rabiot has it still. Uh, oh, N'Golo Kante has been amazing. Oh yeah, like like amazing defense too, and I always like trying to take the ball. Like that was great. For me personally, the goalie has really stood up when we needed him to. Uh, you know, France hasn't really scored many goals this tournament, so moving forward, we're gonna have to uh, produce more goals on attack. But let's be honest, Conte, Conte's been the standout for France. Uh, running 12 kilometers a game, this guy's unbelievable. So hats off to him. But uh, we got a lot more left in the tank, and uh, the ceiling's still low. And looking forward to uh, pushing through uh, and just peaking at the right time. There's definitely levels still for this French side to reach. Who's impressed you? What have you thought? Well, we need Mbappé to do some Mbappé stuff. Yes. So he showed a little bit today with his mask, but we need him to be more like, you know, powerful out there and just do his stuff. Just impress, you know, the defense out there. Wicked for us. Can this French side go all the way to the end of this tournament? They're on the tough side of the bracket. Yeah, dude, they can pull anything out of their ass. Like, they're, they've still got the quality, they've still got the players. Their bench is deeper than I think anyone. Um, so, they could definitely do it. And I don't know, like, they've, they've got a lot of decent chances. Griezmann's finishing is just not there. Um, but, you know. The whole finishing for the French side hasn't been there yet. They haven't had a lot of goals. Yeah, exactly. Do they have, how many goals do they even have? Because they've got no, two, like two goals. Oh, yeah, they might have only one a penalty. A penalty. 
And they scored today. If oh, no, that was an own goal. Yeah. If I, it, they might have one goal all tournament. If a penalty is their only goal, uh, that's that's troubling. But it's football, so, like, who knows? And, and they're not giving up goals. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That, that's Half the battle. What do they say about defense winning championships? You know, if they come together and play well the way they played today, there's a good chance. You know, we, we I'm, I'm actually happy that we're on the tough side of the group because, you know, we're going to have to beat some real teams to make it through to the final. And I think whoever comes out of this group has the best chance of winning it. So, like, I think as what you said, like, you know, like Slovakia, like Portugal, I think Portugal will go through. And that will be, like, the one we're going to face on Friday, I think. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. But it has always been like tough with trends, so it's going to be hard. We will try our best. I hope so. Uh, like today, like they were like the guys were like very like in shape. They, they look more there than the other games. So I hope that it's going to continue that way. Listen, we don't care about Portugal. Bring on Ronaldo. But you know what? Slovakia is going to take it. So who cares about them? You got to go through everyone and be in the final. So forget about it. We're on the harder side. But we're going to get there. Do you, do you think so? It doesn't have to be pretty. We just need to win. That's all that matters. So it doesn't matter who's, uh, who's over there. We just got to win. That's we, all. We want everybody. It doesn't really matter who our opponent's going to be. We just got to bring it, you know. Bring it and let's get it fired up. Oh. Let's go. Listen, I don't have a crystal ball, but if you want to... You, you say, he says he doesn't have a crystal ball. He's got the score prediction right both games we've been in. That's right. Uh, but I do not have a crystal ball, let's be clear. However, um, you need to beat all of them, right? If you need to leave the cup at the end, you need to beat them all. The one, the one thing I'm confident about is our defense. And Didier Deschamps, that's his style. He wants a strong defense, not a solid attack. So I do believe that we have a chance to at least think and hope for the best. This is Fan First Network.